Hey there, I hope you're doing great. Today is uh, Saturday, February 6th. No, it's Sunday. Sunday, February 6th. Hope you're having a great weekend. I had the craziest dreams last night. Did you, have you all had, sometimes people um, say that uh, everybody has weird dreams at the same time, something with the planetary shifts, I don't know. But anyway, I had the craziest dreams last night that were really vivid. So, and then it got me thinking about the, the dream I was having when I woke up. I've been thinking about it. I thought about it all morning. So here's, here's how it went. It was, um, so I was at the home of this couple I know and their kids. I haven't seen the couple in years. I've never met their kids. And um, I know them mostly through social media now and uh, occasional text, but mostly social media. <clears throat> and in this dream, um, was at their house and there was a, a picture. There were a lot of people there, but it didn't feel crowded. So people were outside, I guess, and it didn't feel like a party kind of thing. It kind of felt like people were just kind of meandering through the house. And one of the things that was happening in their house was they had a hallway or it was right beside their door, actually. You walk in the front door and, and there was a wall. And there was a picture frame on the wall and it was about chest height. So it wasn't super high, not super low, about chest height. And the picture frame was less than 12 inches long, but it was really thick. So it stuck out from the wall, maybe four inches. And people were standing beside the wall with the picture frame sticking out and they were jumping from the floor up to the top of the picture frame, landing on it with their left foot putting the right foot on it for balance if they needed it, and then jumping off. It was like a box jump. And then they would just walk out the front door and they'd be gone. And so the the last person, I did I don't remember other people being in the house at this point, was the homeowner who was a um who was a, a friend and former colleague and she it was she was gonna jump and she seemed confident to me and um she seemed a little nervous. I could kind of feel her nerves and, uh, is it trepidation? She was a little anxious about it. As you would if you're jumping up to a four foot, basically box jump. So I, I held out my hand. I'm like, you want to hold my hand for balance or anything? And she took my finger. You know, like a little baby grabs your finger because their little finger so, their little hand is so small and they grab your finger. And anyway, she grabbed my finger and with all of her might jumped and I raised my hand when she jumped and she went off about, she jumped off about maybe six inches off the floor and then back down. And then I woke up. And so I have no idea what any of that means. However, what I've been thinking about since waking up is the meaning of that helping each other out and the, and the gesture. So this is a time in life. <laughs> I'm hearing it from a lot of different people. And I'm reading articles about it. There was an article in the Wall Street Journal this week about uh, women. I'm sure men are feeling this way too, but women feeling this busier than ever with work, with remote work, with school for their kids, with remote school for their kids, with caring for parents, with remote caring for parents, like all of the things that we're doing that are keeping us so busy. And yet there is this deep, deep, deep need for connection, true, real connection, and um, and help and support in different ways. So it, it got me thinking about it in this dream, and how often do we really reach out to other people to offer support? And sometimes when somebody offers support, sometimes all we need is a, just a little finger of support, just a little grasp to get us to the next step. Sometimes we need the whole hand. Sometimes we need somebody to push us up. But how we've gotten in our society these days, it seems like, or what I'm, what I'm visualizing or, or thinking is happening, is that we're not connecting in really meaningful ways. It made me, it made me want to call people and say, how are you? Like, how are you? Not, hey, how's it going? And um, because a lot of people are really struggling right now, struggling with isolation, struggling with busyness, struggling with lack of connection, struggling with 
truths that are coming out, struggling with facing things they haven't ever had to face before with the lack of connection, real meaningful, deep connection, whether it's fear of, I don't want to bother somebody. I don't want to be a burden. I don't want to ask for help. Um, maybe, you know, if somebody asked you one time, Hey, how's it going? And you said, I've had a really hard week. And they say, Oh yeah, me too. Can I borrow a cup of peanut butter? Um, versus, Oh wow. Tell me about it. So, you know, how, and then we might not want to ever say we were having a rough week again to anybody else because we, we felt like we tried to open up and it didn't work very well. So anyway, from what I'm offering today is some compassion to everyone out there who's watching this, everyone who is feeling a little isolation, everyone who's feeling like they might need a little hand or um, a little help or even just like a, a, a little tiny grasp of support. I'm here to say you got it. We got it. We're strong. Sometimes we're so tired of being strong. There are people out there to support us. There's love out there to support us. Remember, what are we feeding the field? Remember our heart-focused breathing. Focus our attention in the air of our hearts and breathe a little slower and deeper than usual. Do that for 30 seconds, a minute, two minutes. It makes a huge difference in our own um, physiology, which brings us calm as well. Sometimes a little confidence. And also, um, I'm going to work to, not even work, I'm going to intend to have an experience, compassionate latitude with others because we are all kind of struggling through life right now, <laughs> taking uh, kind of tiny steps and trying to stay upright. So anyway, we might not be box jumping up onto four feet high boxes, but uh, we are all taking jumps and taking risks. So I'm sending big love to all of you. I'm working on uh, being in a state of love, care, compassion, appreciation, and I uh, hope that you're able to feel it through this video, through connection, and through all other ways. And I, I'm wondering what kind of daily hearts we'll find today. I've not noticed one yet, but I know that one will pop up. Sending love to everyone. Bye-bye.